Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my next part of the Saboteur. Let's continue from where I left off. And if you guys enjoy this series, please do drop a like. It does help the series out a lot. Excellent! I've got your new papers right here. Be careful down there, Irishman. You are headed for the most dangerous part of our beautiful city. New shop items. Oh. New weapons. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Uh... The ROM pistol. The Tommy gun. Oh, a map of the... Okay, we'll buy that there, too. Buy that, too. Uh... Okay. Okay, let's go talk to Luke then. I got the transit papers. Now why don't you tell me what this is about? We are going to meet a man called Duval Mingo. He's no patriot, but he hates the Nazis, and he commands the loyalty of the rebels south of the River Seine. What's so important that you'd risk bringing together every rebel leader in the city? I won't discuss it here. For now, I can only say that you play a key role in our plans, Sean. I don't like being kept in the dark, Luke. Then come with me. We will go meet this man Mingo, then we will discuss what comes next. Okay, get in the car. I hope this game gets a remake one day. It really does deserve it. It's one, it, it this is like one of the best open world games I've ever played. The Latin Quarter. We will rendezvous with Mingo at the Java. Get over to the meeting. So, it seems I am not the only one getting into bed with the British Empire. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> the lovely Lady Sinclair is one dirty minx, huh? Veronique tells me the two of you are old friends. Veronique has a weakness for idle gossip. I am told English women are bold on the outside, but warm on the inside, no? I thought you were meant to be a classy bloke. Why don't we take Skylar and Veronique up to La Havre this weekend for a little wine tasting? Isn't there still a war on? Only more reason for some joie de vivre while we still can, huh? I won't argue with that. So yeah, this is the we most oppressed part of the city. Oh, sir, this Yeah, they're glitching out for a moment, but, um, they're gonna... Okay. So, shall we make a default some in La Havre? I am sure Veronique would be delighted to have you and Skyler join us. Don't count on it. Oh, something I should know. Looks like we're almost there. Thank God. This is the place. Keep your eyes open. Something does not feel right. Keep 
walking, your highness. These streets can be dangerous after dark. Are you the one called Mingo? Who is asking? Luke Godin. Ah, the big man himself. <laughs> Come down to the penthouse to do a little slumming. Hmm? This isn't a social call. I have business to discuss. Business requires trust. Trust must be earned. Ah, that sword cuts both ways. It is dangerous to meet in the open like this. You risk too much. Yeah, this is a bad place to meet. Jealous. Yeah. It's a fucking ambush. Exactly. Take cover. I should have brought a more powerful weapon. Looks like I'm gonna. Damn, I. I can't even call the resistance in here because we're not in the street. Okay, at least the Panzerfaust did its job. Get back in the fucking car! Okay, well, good thing I actually brought a four-door car on this. That would have been bad if I didn't. Get us out of here. Hang on. Oh, yeah. I... Okay, let's see. There's got to be a fight back zone here somewhere. Is there? Uh... Oh yeah, no, the fight back zones are pretty far away. Ah, uh, man. How did the crowds know we'd be here? There might be a leak somewhere. But don't look at me. This meeting was your idea. Show your traps, both of you. We're not out of this mess yet. I don't know whose idea it was to meet in the park in the public like that, but it's the stupidest place that you can possibly meet. Yeah, so, because, th th because this is a really heavily oppressed area, it's going to be really hard to escape. Oh, uh, no, I can't even fit in there. Okay, the colored areas are always the areas that are more safe to go to. Ooh. Okay. Looks like we lost them. We need to get out of the open. I told you it was not safe to meet like this. You would jeopardize the entire resistance with your foolish theatrics. Enough. We need a place where we can talk, some place secure. My headquarters is not far from here. Is it safe? It is the one place in the city where Germans don't dare to tread. Even the Nazis fear to... Ah, Christ! I did get a... I know I got a wanted level again, uh... Ah, quick, get in the car. I know I got a wanted level with that again, guys, but every single time I see those executions, I just have to stop it. So those, those are some of the random events that you see in the world. Ah, great. Damn, it's, this is getting a bit annoying here. Okay, that's the war zone right there. So that that's the border of the map. And actually, if you actually try to drive over there, the planes will actually go after you. Oh, great. Okay. Where were we? My headquarters is not far from here. Is it safe? It is the one place in the city where Germans don't dare to tread. Even the Nazis fear to walk among the dead. Christ, don't tell me it's another cemetery. I'm starting to get superstitious. <laughs> the oldest graveyard in the city, and a haven for fugitives since Roman times. We will be safe there. Excellent. There's no delay. We have much to discuss. Take the leaders to the catacombs, okay.
passen und die Reisepapiere. Sofort stehen bleiben! Ihre Papiere! Guten Tag, Jens! Wie kommt ein Droide? What is your name, Irishman? Devlin. Well, Mr. Devlin, you're a resourceful man. Stick around after the meeting. I may have some work for you. Joyrider perk unlocked. Oh. Uh. Oh, well, it's that one. Uh. Okay. Okay, I guess I gotta go under here. Ah, there's Sean. Let's get started. By now, most of you have seen these posted around the city. Our German overseers have devised a grand spectacle to convince us of their Aryan superiority. A race to be held here, in Paris, and broadcast to every corner of occupied Europe. Several high-ranking Nazi officials will be in attendance, including General Eckhart. My comrades, this is the moment we have waited for. We will seize this opportunity to strike a blow that will shake the very foundations of the Third Reich. The crowd brass will be heavily guarded. You'll never get close to them. You're right, Sean. We can't get close, but you can. What the fuck are you talking about? After the race, there will be an award ceremony at the base of the Eiffel Tower. During the ceremony, General Eckhart will present the winning driver with an iron cross. That is when we will strike. How are you gonna get past the security? I won't have to, Sean. You are going to win the race. I don't even have a proper car. How am I supposed to win a race? Speak to Vittore. He has some good news to share with you. And Sean, you may be interested to know that the Germans are placing bets on the winning driver. At last count, the odds were five to one in favor of Kurt Dierker. Oh yeah, it's definitely on for Sean at this point. Okay, uh, Mingo, let's see what job ah, he has for Dublin. us. Welcome to the underworld. What do you think of all this? It's a hell of an operation you got here. I can see you command the respect of these people. Respect may be, but loyalty is harder to come by. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I have a problem that needs fixing. Does this problem have a name? We, oui. Francine. She was to be my wife. You got a problem with your lady friend? Talk to the barman. I don't deal with ex-girlfriends. Allow me to explain. Before the occupation, I was a foreman in a motorcycle factory. The Nazis ordered the factory converted to manufacture weapons for the German military. Some of the men refused to obey the order. Those men ended up down here. Where does Francine come into this? I kept a list of informants. Working men who risked their lives to pass us information on German war production. Francine stole it she sold us out to the germans why i heard whispers about francine and a german she was fucking him behind my back what else does she know enough to get us all killed that bitch could never keep her leg shut or her mouth i'll take care of it one more thing devlin francine wears a locket it was a gift from me i want it back i'll see what i can do francine is a singer She's performing at an outdoor concert not far from here. I want this business finished tonight. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's talk to the arms dealer here. Okay, what are we gonna get? Um, Silence pistol, definitely. What's gonna be my backup weapon here? Uh, oh, the Viper SMG. Uh, we'll get the Tommy gun here. I should have the race car unlocked now. Be uh, here. Looking for a new car, monsieur? Uh, oh, here it is. Oh, she's really.
really close by too here, okay. Okay, we're gonna need a disguise. You know what? I'm gonna take the sniper rifle. Okay. Okay, dress up as the sniper. Okay. I already see how I can... Oh, I can get up there. There we go. I don't think they know I was the one who took the shot yet. I know. Well, at least the Car 98 is a pretty powerful, um, rifle, and some of these grenades will come in handy. Time to move. Ah. Damn, I don't I don't wanna yeah, keep getting caught caught on that. Blowing that up to make sure that I'm blowing that up just to make sure that I don't get uh, caught on that explosion. Okay, yeah, so this is the Tommy gun. I deactivate this. Surprise that actually worked and made the alarm go away. Motherfuck! Report any subversive behavior to the nearest political bureau. Damn. Ah. Wonder if turning off the alarm will do it again. Uh 
Okay, that did it. Take out this tower too. A little bit of contraband we can earn. Great. Okay, time to get out of here, yeah. I'm not gonna be able to get back to the race car right now. Uh, there's too many enemies around the area. I don't want to get spotted again. Let's take another car. You're not a bad sort. Not at all. Okay. Here's the locket you wanted. I'm glad to be rid of the damn thing. You have my gratitude, Irishman. I hope you won't allow misplaced feelings of guilt to poison this happy moment. You're a hard-hearted son of a bitch, Mingo. Thank you. Oh, we got already another mission from him, too. If it isn't the Angel of Death himself, I thought I felt a chill in the air. <laughs> Cut the bullshit, Mango. I didn't come here to listen to you flap your jaws. Very well. I looked inside Francine's locket. The one you brought me after. I know the one. Do you know what I found? A picture of yourself. Not me! That blue-eyed devil. The German that Francine took to her bed. I told you before, adultery is none of my concern. Ah. But this man concerns us all. He is head of military security in the industrial sector. Even now he hunts us, driven by his mad thirst for revenge. Kill a man's woman, you take that risk. She was my woman, not his. Shut it! She was a Nazi spy, Mingo. Yep. Now get a hold of yourself. This Nazi captain! They call him the Wolf. He hunts rebels for sport. It is only a matter of time before he finds his place and ties a rope around all our necks. Then we'll find him first. I already sent a team of my best men to hunt down this wolf. If you go now, you can catch up with them. Okay, talk to the resistance commander. What's the score? We had that Nazi bastard trapped. But those damn snipers won't let us get close enough to finish the job! Okay. And I'm killing uh, enemy snipers is my specialty. I've always been pretty good at sniping in games. Okay. Wow, there's a ton of them. Okay, there's the general. There's only one sniper? What? Oh no, I see another one already. Okay. I guess it's just when you kill the first one that... That sniper's over here. Okay, it's a bit... Okay, uh...
There we go, dead. Okay. You know what a lot of people fail as when they play as snipers in video games is prioritizing targets. If you got a more important target to hit, you hit that target, not necessarily the first person that, uh, that appears in your scope. If anybody's ever played the game Hell Let Loose, it's a World War II game. In Hell Let Loose, uh, I play as the sniper a lot in that game, and I prioritize targets. If there's, like, uh, an officer, or, you know, a rocket trooper, an engineer, I'll take them out first before I take out infantry. I'll take out a machine gunner over infantry first, because a machine gunner can lay down fire on numerous um, uh, soldiers. Sometimes it's also not good to take a shot when you're a sniper, because... You have to know, um, uh, the best position that a sniper has isn't always the tallest position. A lot of people think that the highest point is always the best for the sniper. No, um, uh, okay, there we go, got the wolf. Oh, color's gonna come back to the world, okay. Okay, let's get out of here then. So, uh, the best position that a, sni that a sniper can be in is a position that has great visibility of the enemy. The enemy doesn't have that great visibility of you, but on top of that, it's also easy to escape from. Because if you're in a position... Oh, that was close. If you're in a position where... you There's a position that you can go to where it's really high up, but it might not necessarily be a good position, because if you can't get down from there quickly, you're done. So a sniper needs to be in a good position where he can overlook an area, but he can also escape. Because one one thing that a lot of people get wrong on snipers in video games is that sni s people, when they play as snipers, they just sit in one spot and they think they can just kill an army. It doesn't work like that. You get surrounded, you get flanked, the enemy calls artillery on your position, possibly an airstrike. Uh, a sniper is going to be most effective, takes a few shots, kills a few targets, and then moves, gets out of there. Snipers run a lot. They do. They retreat a lot. That's what you don't see in video games a lot. In video games, you see the sniper just sit in one position. A sniper will retreat. Sniper will run away. So, sniper needs to be in a position where they can get away from the um, action. If they if they get if they feel like they're going to get overrun, it needs to be an area they can pull out quickly and get out. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, machine gun fire wouldn't really do anything against a half track like that in real life. Um, keep fighting them until they back off. There we go. Got it, we did it. So one day I'll have like, um, you know, a video of me playing as a sniper and Hell Let Loose and how I played the game, but I move a lot, I don't stay in one position, I don't always go to the tallest point, and um, I prioritize targets a lot of times. And uh, sometimes I don't take the shot, because whenever people see snipe, like a, a somebody in their scope, they're almost always going to take the shot in the game. And sometimes it's not worth taking the shot because then you're going to get overrun and you're going to die. But I guess we'll be wrapping it up here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.